guys and welcome back to Maggie Comics. Alright, so um, last week I did a bunch of requests and I actually got three more requests last week um, to do some other drawings, so I'm going to do two of those requests today. One is going to be a pug that's going to be um, for my friend Danielle, and then the other one is going to be mushrooms for my cousin Chloe. So, and then I think tomorrow I might do a, a cool underwater scene for my niece, Ava. Um, but yeah, so to do a pug, and pugs are really, really fun animals to draw, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two circles about that far away from each other in the middle of the page. Then, right in between the circles, I'm going to do these two sort of ovals. Or they're kind of like elongated eggs or something. They're like a little bigger on the bottom. Um, and then in between those, I'm going to do a little arch like that. All right. And then underneath this, I'm going to give the hug a little toe. And then you can decide what kind of eyeballs you want for your pug. Sometimes they have really, really cute, sort of like diverging eyes. Um, I personally think I'm just gonna do something like this. Oh yeah, by the way, I have this cool black paper. I forgot to talk about that. And I really like it because if you get like gel mark pens or whatever these are called, uh, I don't know. It shows up really, really well. It is just like a little bit different than just drawing black ink on white paper, so. But obviously you can do this in any way you want. I almost did pencil on white watercolor paper today and then I was gonna watercolor everything, but I might save that for next week. All right, cool. So now you're gonna come over here and you can do like a little curve line coming down like that. Then I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to draw a shape like this. I have no idea how to describe what that shape looks like. It kind of looks like a rock. Um, but after you do that shape, whatever it is, you're going to draw an arch over their heads and then over here this one is going to be like a little arch and then it just kind of comes down like that. And then we're going to come over here and this is going to be so much like the sitting cat. Except the sitting kitty. I would like have done a bigger leg shape like this. I think pugs have cute little tiny tiny legs so it's going to be like that. Just kind of 
a straight line across. It's slightly curved, but it doesn't even need to be. Then I'm going to draw the mushroom stem. And then I'm going to come over here to this side. for the mushroom to make it look more like a mushroom. I'm going to go ahead and do these little lines like this. Then I'm going to do the same over here. And then I think I'm going to just... How could I not do eyes on a mushroom? posted this really cute picture, I don't know where she was, but of a mushroom with a face on it, and it got stuck in my head, and since then I haven't been able to, um, you know, draw mushrooms with any other kind of eyes than, than these kind of eyes. I'm going to make the mushroom look up at the pug. Hi, Mimi. My kitty came to visit you. Hi. All right, and then you can do any kind of smile you want. Now, you know those classic mushrooms in all the cartoons that have, they're like red with the white dots and those are so cute. I guess I'm kind of modeling this mushroom after that one. Plus, I can give it these little circles right here um, to be like rosy cheeks or something, even though I'm not going to get into color in these. So, there's that. There's a pug sitting on a mushroom. Then, as you know, you can always draw cute little decorations. I'm very prone to doing night sky decorations for some reason. It's really especially hard not to on the, the black paper. Um, but yeah, so I hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, I have some special plans for later this week that I'm really excited about. I'm going to try and do a almost like a digital flip book thing like almost like a stop motion sort of thing I'm not sure how it's gonna work but I'm gonna try and learn before then and then I can teach you guys how to do it too if you want to learn. Um, so yeah now I'm gonna just quickly do a little time lapse little coloring things in for you and then um, and then I'll uh, come back on here